Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. You are on Bohemian Crafting channel. Today I'm coming to uh, create something with this packaging. I did both uh, these gel uh, strips, uh, kind of like fake uh, nails, and it came in really beautiful packaging. I was quite surprised, to be honest. Uh, the first the paper on the box, it's really beautiful. It's not that glossy coated. It's kind of like matte coated, nice gramage. So I'm going to be using that box. And here in this one, uh, it came uh, like, like uh, wipes, small wipes for cleaning nails. Here was wooden pick for kind of like pressing the nails down those those gel strips a uh, small nail file and scissors that was in this beautiful folder and then uh in this envelope uh came actually these uh these gel uh gel nails or you know stickers kind of like and because I really love that packaging, I decided to use it. Uh, today I'm going to continue on a book I started, I think, two months ago. <laughs> this one, Altering Book. And again, I'm going to be using gorgeous collection from Shabby Dabby Doo Dach, uh, shop. Tina's collection. It's really gorgeous. It's in vintage style, with, which I like. I do have here also uh, all kind of these uh, street words, lamps. Everything what you can see here, it's from Shabby Dabby Dudach. Uh, if you don't know her channel, go to have a look, Shabby Dabby Dudach. So this is collection. There is few collections, actually, what I bought from Tina's uh, Etsy shop. And I'm going to be using, again, these papers. And I'm going to alter and kind of add these things to my book. So first here at the front, I do have half book, half page and half page. Okay, we need to do something with that. Uh, it's too much blue here first. And I think this envelope will be actually really gorgeous here. Yeah, I think it can be here. The envelope has beautiful, cute closure. It just cut into the paper here. So I'm going to actually enjoy that and I'm not gonna change any anything about this I'm just gonna uh, coffee dye the envelope I do have here coffee brush and I'm just gonna coffee dye the envelope give it a little bit vintage wipe nice color which I like I'm gonna dry it with my heating tool I had them coffee dyed, all three of them, and I'm going to start with this envelope. Uh, so I would like to place it right here. It will be closed behind. Well done, I hope I didn't glue it with that coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, it will be. So I would like to keep uh, the color as it is. Maybe I will do some stamping. In background, I would like to add something that will go nicely with this pattern. And it's going to be this uh, dark page. I think I can rip it somewhere here. Yeah. I do have pieces which will fit into that blue pattern into that blue page but part of it will be visible and I don't want to have that so I'm gonna help myself I'm gonna add a little bit of brown tape I do have framed my half page and I think 
think this will fit really nicely on that. Now I'm gonna distress the edges first. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, ink from Spectrum Noir Harmony Line. This is seal brown. And I'm gonna distress all the edges. I did rip all paid, uh, all sides over my ruler. So they are not cut with scissors. They do have that uh, ripped look. And I'm gonna also take my sewing machine and do sewing all around. And a little stitching all around. Now I can glue it down. So I haven't added glue totally to the edge. I added uh, kind of like under sewing and I will try to kind of like squeeze it here and there and make even more um, distressed edges. I do have it glued, but I think it needs a little bit of tea dyed paper. I do have many tea dyed papers here, so I'm gonna get up one. And it can be a piece of book page because I need only kind of like under. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Add the glue and glue a piece of book page, probably around all that. I will see how it will looks like here on the bottom. A little bit more. Point it out. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rip the book page on pieces and I will glue it under. It's good that I didn't put the glue totally to the edges, I can still lift it up. It's peeking out here and there. Ah, I should add the, <laughs> the glue again. Okay. I think I'm glued. So now you. Okay. I bring selection of dice. Um, they are all from Tim Holtz. And the best for uh, junk journal makers these three collections i love them so much these are amazing these labels uh, i like these letters they, this alphabet it's really gorgeous uh, here is that hand so maybe i will use that hand and also selection of stamps I just want to show you uh, my new stamp collection. These edges, they are amazing actually. Look at these beautiful edges. Uh, this was designed by Phil Martin. And I hope I'm going to say that right. Splatterlicious textures. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I found them uh, on Lobbycraft uh, shop. Uh, I will have a look and I will put link down below. It's UK shop. Uh, but I think if you will, you know, type down, I will try to type down the number and name. Where is the number? Some number. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> type down, type down name and uh, name of the stamps and the name of the designer, and you can have a look for yourself. Really beautiful. So I'm gonna decorate it, and then I will show you what I did. I do have my little envelope stamped and distressed, uh, so what I used 
for the grungy look, I have used stamps from this uh, kit, from this collection. This one, this one and this one and a little bit of these three dots. But they are mostly hidden now. Here, here, here and here, here and here. Then this one, it's this spot. The, this one, it's this spot. Oh, here and here are these little dots and these little small dots and these corners and dots here it's this stamp it's wonderful stamp actually then i used tim holtz stamps um this is this is this is field notes from stampers anonymous so uh, number this circle it's this one and here on the bottom it's kind of invisible but it's there it's this stamp orders are attend to the night or something like that uh, today or night yeah and then the last stamp this it's actually where you are uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs Planners Essentials Stamps and it's this collection first I saw this collection uh, when where I saw it oh uh, when Margaret Margaret from 7 Plaza I think yeah I think I saw this uh, stamp collection first uh, on Margaret from 7 Plaza when she spoke about this collection and I really loved that so I had to find it as well because it's a really beautiful collection and then uh, I do have number here and name of the street here and that's from Tina's collection here number and one of the street names street signs so that's what I do have here on the bottom and here on the top. I just glued these pieces on the book page and glue it under the, you know, uh, like from behind on that envelope. And here on this uh, side, I do have Tim Holtz stamp. And this is also from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's this teeny small little stamp. So that's what I do have here because it will be a little bit visible from this side when I will flip the page so here I will have it visible so I already stamped that and now I am able to glue it down I'm gonna glue it as another pocket so I'm not gonna glue it all the way I'm gonna put the glue on the sides and on the bottom of this envelope so the envelope will be holding some goodies and also behind the envelope I can store some goodies oh shoot not here look at me yeah, if I will think a little bit, I will don't do this. <laughs> I will be not stupid. <laughs> okay, and I can glue it down. Not you. So now I can place it right here. I think this way. I am gluing that envelope a little bit far from uh, the fold here just to make sure you know I can actually fold the page over and it will don't get stuck. Well important is if it if it will get glued. But I think I'm there. And with this I will have small pocket behind so I can put something behind that envelope I'm gonna let it dry and I should do something here in the background and as here it's this a uh, light uh, light tone of paper I'm gonna grab I think this was <coughs> yeah this is that other side and I'm thinking this will actually look cute here kind of like continuing with with some extra with some extra space so I'm gonna glue there this a little part it's just half page so I'm gonna put the glue just on this spot or although this can be like writing page uh, decision decision 
Well, I like that picture in there. <laughs> so I'm going to glue that picture on this half page. And I'm going to actually put just on that half page. I'm not going to make it uh, bigger, I guess. In the end, I decided to go with the full page. So I did glue that paper on that half paper. And I'm going to create a pocket here. And because here was visible a little bit of that bluish color, I covered it with that brown tape as well. So I'm going to keep this as it is. And here on this uh, back side, I think I would like to see here just writing spot. Because it already does have uh, kind of like blank white spots. And I think that piece of linen paper, and I do have here this, I think there are two, yeah. Could be really cute here. I'm gonna distress it, or I'm gonna coffee dye it even more. It's kind of white. So to match my journal, it will need to be a little bit dark. So I do have that writing spot here. And on this side, I can actually use my a little trifold. So it should be folded this way, this way. I mean this way, <laughs> this way, and this way. And that all can be here. It does have pocket here. It does have pocket here. And here. I'm going to be using decorative papers from Kina, from her collection. Cover all these spots with decorative papers and come. I will come back. I do have a ripped piece of paper which can fit here and I would like to do <clears throat> just a little, a little decoration on the side and I think I'm gonna be using this piece of lace and just sew it on this side on this paper and here in the background uh, I'm gonna be using some stamps and do stamping on the edges because that paper <clears throat> has a little bit different shape then the background paper so little parts could be visible and I think it will be really cute if I will have there some stamps so I'm gonna add here and there some stamping and maybe some little numbers and words and I will see if something from that will be visible after finishing all these layouts. And maybe this one. I like this stamp. It's gorgeous. It's from that uh, Elizabeth Crafts dies. So I do have stamping, this will be on the top. So here probably nothing, but here on the top I can see part. Oh yeah, something will be a little bit visible. I'm gonna sew the lace on the side. So I do have my little lace sewn in. It will be visible from both sides and it will make a very delicate decoration here. So now, how I will place this one? I 
Okay, I think I'm gonna place it here. So first some decoration inside. I'm gonna be using this uh, cute uh, quotes and words in inside on these uh, squares. Before I will glue them there, uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, embossing folder. I think it's Daris. I'm not sure, but I think it's Daris. And I'm gonna use maybe this ink. Uh, it's called Pebble, hopefully. Alcohol proof dye ink. Pebble and I'm gonna ink one side. Place on that ink side my little pockets, close it and emboss it. Well, I actually noticed that I do have a little bit of ink here as well, so I'm going to ink both sides. I have used two uh, embossing folders. This one it's uh, from Sizzix. Mm. Yeah, Sizzix. It does have kind of like dot squares and that this. <laughs> I forget the name. It's not Pinocchio. How is it called? P, 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 something from P. And I'm going to use this, uh, these perforated papers. These are edges from office paper, office printer paper. It's called linen or never ending paper. And you can find it on Amazon on or any Office Depot. It's that never ending printer paper. It does have on both sides these perforated edges. You can just rip them apart from the paper. Use the paper in the journals. And keep these strips for decorating. Yeah, I think I like it this way. I'm gonna distress the edges. And here I am using seal brown. And I will be using again those stamps from uh, Steve Martin. Do I remember the name? Pop, uh, Phil, sorry, Phil Martin. Again, uh, these grungy stamps. And add a little bit of these grungy stamps here and there. I do have my... A little cute folder stamped heavily with those stamps and I really like the look uh, how these stamps make everything looks really beautifully grungy look at that and I prepared three of these word uh, word labels I do have two quite similar design these will go on the sides and one with this darker brown frame that will go in the middle so i'm gonna glue it there i do have prepared my background paper i do have prepared kind of ish uh, my pockets uh, from that box i uh, already cut out few pieces this <laughs> took me like long time to put it together or cut it out and i do have here these little numbers and letters so maybe i will do something with that because uh, it's kind of like tricky very small so i do have a few labels here and i do have that uh, left over from the box and if i would think before i could before i will cut out these pieces i will cut them out in the middle so that way i will have beautiful frame here you know but because i wasn't thinking i'm gonna be using just uh, half half of that box i'm gonna cut the box right here behind that cutting and create a frame window frame which I will use to decorate the journal so first and I'm gonna cut this side straight ish and 
here. Now I can cut this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, this way I can fit in there. So I'm going to be using this spot as my uh, window pocket. I'm going to keep this just a little shorter, not that long. And here I'm going to cut out a window. Uh, I did use a die in the shape of this tag i'm not sure where from i've got that die uh, so i use die i just place it kind of like upside down so it did facet out this beautiful shape for my window for that pocket i'm gonna distress the tag from outside and then i will also make something here from inside on these kind of like um, hinges just because they will be visible actually so maybe I can put there something interesting once it will be folded folded and glued down so these two will be a little bit visible and I think it will be only cute if there will be maybe some message so I'm gonna have a look and I do have these sticker sheets so I'm gonna add here something from these sticker sheets no journey is too great if you find what you seek that's kind of cute i'm gonna place it right here so it will be visible through to all that window if i will actually glue it there oh come on okay i'm <laughs> with the some glue And maybe some decorative washi tapes. And I do have here this beautiful Tim Holtz washi tape. And the color will match the background really well. So I'm going to place here and on that opposite side this Tim Holtz washi. Tim Holtz washi. And now I can glue it down, actually. Okay, so before I will glue this uh, into my book, uh, I do have here one of these designs with those uh, kind of like herbals and bo old bottles. This is one of the pages uh, which are included in this collection and I'm I was thinking I'm going to somehow include it here. I'm going to measure this. Okay, that's have four and a half.
I did print out this one on a very light paper, that's why it's reinforced with book page. And I'm gonna cut out piece which is five inch in the width, just because that uh, this one it's four and a half, or maybe even no, I'm gonna cut four and a half because I don't need to have that this one same big. So this is four and a half till here. I'm gonna cut this in four and a half as well. Four and half. Four and half. And I think it's not straight. <laughs> yeah. Four and half. Somehow here. Not too bad. But I would like to have the actually kind of end of that window like this I'm gonna cut this one off four and a half so I'm gonna fold it on four not gonna pull out my scoring board I'm just gonna fold it here over the edge and try it's maybe a little bit taller oh yeah it's quite tall so I'm gonna cut it somewhere here yes Now I just need to cut entry here. I do have cut into that picture here in the size of this page. I'm gonna slide it in there like this. And I'm gonna glue it here. it okay it can be this way and for this here I'm gonna secure this side from moving you know apart I'm gonna secure it with double-sided tape as that will help me also to glue it down later Okay, so that will be opening here. Good. I can put same tape like I put inside. I can place same tape here, just like decoration or piece of lace. I think I'm gonna place that this one because it's going really nicely with that Tina's design. This Tim Holtz tape. So I do have extra page, I do have pocket for my trifold pockets. I'm gonna do some a little stamping on that frame right now before I will glue it inside. And I have used this stamp from the collection Splatterlicious, Splatterlicious Textures. <laughs> 
Sorry for my pronunciation. I really love these stamps. Phil Martin did a really great job. Look at that grunginess. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna keep it as it is. And now it's time to glue this page right here onto my spot here. So I'm gonna add that glue and glue it down. I'm gonna take off double sided tape, add the glue on the rest of that page and glue it down. And I forgot to say I also added small bit of lace on that opposite side. Now I can glue it down. So I'm thinking somewhere here. Hopefully this way. Oops, sit down, sit down. So I can see stamping here on the bottom. I can see lace. I can see stamping here on the top. I do have that opening. I can actually use some of these. I should add them there before I glue that down. Well, I'm gonna place it there right now. I'm gonna put in those sides, will I? Yeah, I will try. I will try to fix their brats. Ish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it can go. And just glue it right here. Now I do have my little pockets. I can actually add these. into one pocket, but probably clip them together, otherwise they will be lost. And slide them here. I do have also cut out the tab from that box. So this can go actually here and I think I will still fit into that frame. Or I can just keep it here if I will need it, you know, in the future, I know where to find it and I can add there some tags, some photos and then slide it here. <laughs> oh, it's granginess. It's beautiful granginess. I do have somewhere pictures for this journal and I forgot where I do have them. I added here just this photo. Oh, look at that. Maybe I will add some more decorations once I do have some page here, you know, to kind of match it, match it together. But for now, I'm very happy with this. I do have pocket here uh, from the box which came with the nails inside and I do have the packaging here. I don't have anything in the pockets yet, but I believe I will create something in the in the process of creating creating this book. I do have lovely writing page here. I do have pocket here. Oh, sorry, sir. Pocket here and pocket here from packaging, which came also with my nails. And I love these stamps. So, uh, Shabby Dabby Dudach collection. I will put link for uh, Tina's Etsy or for Tina's YouTube channel. Go to have a look on her YouTube channel. And there you will find all the links you need. So this is from Tina, Shabby Dabby Dudach. I will also uh, have a look to my emails if I do have a link for the shop where from I bought these amazing stamps. Other way, they are from Phil Martin. Splatterlicious textures. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Amazing stamps. And yeah, also... Uh, now for all of you, my amazing subscribers, 
I just found that I do have 41,000 subscribers. I couldn't believe. Thank you so, so much. I didn't even notice 40,000 subscribers because I'm not watching these numbers. My son told me that, mom, have a look on that number. So I did prepare something for you. This is my gift. It's for free to download. There will be a link to my Patreon, but please do not be scared. The post will be public, so you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to pay anything. Just Click on that link. You will find there uh, to download these images. There will be also a video for my Patreons. If you want, you can watch that. It's just chatting where I am sharing uh, these envelopes uh, with my Patreons. This is just additional uh, sheet for envelopes I shared with them uh, not not long time ago. Uh, I kind of created envelopes where are ideas what you can create for your journals and one of my Patreons had a brilliant idea to add to this collection of already uh, kind of like um, already inspiring envelopes also sheet with empty envelopes so they can add their, their own ideas and have collection you know full of ideas so there will be link for the post i created for my patreon so you can watch that as well if you want but uh, make sure if you like download these these are hidden paper clips and uh, it will be just for just for you as my thank you for all your support and for coming here and sharing your time with me i hope you will like them uh, they are in christmas theme and i do believe they don't have to be used just for as a paper clips if you will create paper clip with these I do have video how to create paper clip, hidden paper clip with images like this, just with a different theme. I will put link down below for that video here, or you will see that somewhere here. And also the link for that video will be in that post on my Patreon site. So you can uh, click on that video in there and watch that how to put together these paper clips they are easy to do i promise you don't need too much they are very easy to do and they can be used as a money holder as well i believe so for christmas maybe you will use it so that's uh, my gift to all of you as my thank you as my huge appreciation for your support thank you so much guys really i appreciate that so that's all for today go to have a look on tina she does have amazing youtube channel and her digitals are stunning i love her digitals especially all, all these i bought long time ago so go to have a look i will put link for uh, tina's youtube down below and uh, yeah this one that's all my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it thank you so much for spending your time with me thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day take care of yourself and i will come back soon bye